Hasislav Dubitsi Chut. These are native words that mean it's good to see you. Hasislav Dubitsi Chut is ya 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 de ishad yuf ti yab. It is good to see family members and friends and unarmed people. I'll tell you all good of us on this land. I'll tell you to hak baka to this up from Ohio. Uh, da duwap said everybody wants new as duwamish. Asla hill today. Baka to this up from Ohio. Tell you all good of this this land. Squeeze what you did, mother. I'll tell you how that's good. If asla hill. Um, Baka to this up from Ohio. Tell you what to 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 um. Twelve the Sapa after my father, my grandfather, great 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 grandfather, Chief Seattle. Good go ahead, Doctor C I, and this means welcome. Good go ahead, Doctor E I, welcome honored people, welcome friends. Good go ahead, Doctor E I, and family. Hasta slab slakio. This is a good day. Hey, ko oyayu on the watch. Big work on the water. Hey, ko oyayu saw the stolak duwab. Big work on the Duwamish River. Us kudidif just at the duwabs and Duwamish are grateful for this. Big work and this showing here today. Ya yostov da. All of these words I've been saying and yet I have forgotten to introduce myself. So, um, ya workman. Or work. Yayu uh, Stobbs, workman is my name. Ahata Duabs the Ishachet, and I'm of the Duwamish tribe. Piof Akwa Ye, Kwakwa Ye, Kwasiabsi Alchat, and great 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 grandson of Chief Seattle. Twal the Ishet, for my family, Twal the Siyaya, for my friends and the um, um, Duabs, and for the tribe. Um, it's good to be here. It's good to see you. And it's good to be on the water once again. And we saw many good things on the water today. We saw the seal out on the on the buoy out in here. We saw schools of um, of herring, and the water was calm, and the skies were nice and flat. It's a good day to be on the water, and so I want to thank everybody for their work. I want to thank Mark Mark Powell for his great work today, and he's coming down the Duwamish. It's big work. <laughs> Out into the wolves, out into this is the wolves, um, Puget Sound, for his great work. So, Askudid of Chut, this Yaya Twal, Chapo Heik, Oyaya is at the wolves. And this is, thank you, Mark, for your great work on the wolves. Thank you, Ken. Mark Powell. Great. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Um, I'm reminded when I started this project almost a year ago, um, I didn't know how hard it was going to be. Maybe I would have had second thoughts if I knew, but nevertheless, we persevered. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Boeing and REI, our partners among the many groups working on the Duwamish, Duwamish River Cleanup Coalition, um, King County, and others. And I'd also like to thank all of you for coming out. Um, Rain Adaman has been one of my chief logistics supporters. Thanks, Rain. And I set out with the idea that I would hope to find the heart of the Duwamish River, and I think it succeeded. I think one thing that I saw stands out above all else, and it, it, it to me is the heart of the Duwamish River, I saw thousands of wild pink salmon swimming up the Duwamish and the Green River. There's a huge run of pink salmon this year. I don't know how many people in Seattle know about it. Swimming through schools of salmon so thick and so close, I reached out and touched a salmon with my hand. And I put my GoPro camera into the school of salmon and accidentally pushed a salmon against the bottom of the river. They were so thick and abundant. I have never seen so many salmon except in videos taken in Alaska. I've never seen such a thing in the lower 48. That's not to say that everything is fine on the Duwamish River. There's some other species of salmon that are not doing as well. There's very well-known pollution problems, but the thriving, healthy, wild pink salmon run to me is the heart of the Duwamish River. The heart is still beating. The river is alive. And one other thing I'd like to mention is that the river is Puget Sound. There is no separation. Swimming down through the lower Duwamish River, there's salt water. The water comes in, the water comes out. 
Puget Sound is the Duwamish River. The Duwamish River is Puget Sound. The Green River is Puget Sound. The watershed is Puget Sound. Um, so we're seeing progress in cleaning up pollution. There's more to be done. The biggest current problem we all face together is cleaning up polluted stormwater runoff. It's currently the largest source of pollution in Puget Sound. And thankfully, King County and others have been doing great work. And we have Christy True here from King County, um, Department Head for Wastewater Treatment. Is that correct? Sorry. Department of Natural Resources and Parks, overseeing some of the uh, cleanup work. And Christy wants to say a few words. And I thank King County for their support on this project. They've been very good friends and partners. Thank you, Mark. I was um, at the, the press conference a little over a year ago where Executive Constantine and Mayor Murray said, we need a green Duwamish watershed strategy. We need something for the whole river. And Mark came up to speak at that press conference and he said, I'm going to swim the entire Green Duwamish River. And we all looked at him and we were like, really? And he did it. Let's give him another big round of applause. Absolutely awesome. Um, you know, I have to say that my favorite part of Mark's swim was I was always anxious to see uh, the videos that would be coming out because there was... He wants me to wait. I'm sorry, just for a second. I totally appreciate that. All right. He's done. Okay. My favorite part of the swim was waiting for the videos to come out and there was that moment when Mark would go in the water and he would, when he would first go in and he would submerge his camera and you would get that very first view of what he was seeing under the water. And it was always a, sort of this beautiful, fantastic moment to see that first thing that he saw in the video camera. And so it was really, to me, it was symbolic of the things that he was doing in the swim was he was really revealing parts of this watershed and the river that most of us never get to see uh, by doing that. So it's, I, I was always anxious to see that very first moment on the video. Mark has done a lot to reveal from the very top of the watershed down to the lower Duwamish. And there were very um, special moments when he stopped, for example, at North Winds Weir, which was a two and a half acre salmon uh, habitat restoration project that was just completed. And he also highlighted right across from that Chinook Wind, which was six acres that we just recently completed a purchase on. We promised to buy it a year ago, and we just uh, finished the acquisition of those six acres. And it's very, very important intertidal um, habitat for, for salmon. But he also went into some of the other places that we might not expect, like some of the uh, contaminate some of the areas that had been can contaminated from historical pollution that had been cleaned up the sediments have been cleaned up and he traveled into some of those areas as well and really uh, let us see what some of our history was and what we can do to clean it up while mark was swimming many of us here were working on maybe you might think of some of our bookish things where we were looking at all the plans and things that have been done in this watershed to really take a look at what needs to come next and we were talking with many people who live and work and play in the watershed to ask them what they think we need to focus on and clearly it matches what mark saw when he was swimming in the river that we really need to address stormwater um, pollution in this watershed and do a much better job and so as we implement this watershed strategy i know that in our next phase which we're about to embark on we will be focusing on stormwater and many other really critical aspects um, of this watershed now a lot of progress has been made but we still have a lot of work to do and it was mark it was um, author louis lamour who said there will come a time when you believe everything is finished that will be the beginning. So thank you for finishing this swim, and I know we'll continue our partnership with all of you and with the Environmental Council to continue to make this a much better place for all of us to live and to work and to play. Thank you. Thanks, Christy, and thanks again to King County. We just have one more person who's gonna say a few words. Carrie Simpson, who's an independent expert on rain gardens and stormwater cleanup and has been working in the watershed for how long? A long time. A long time. <laughs> Probably not long enough. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. It's really inspiring and seeing people I've worked with, the Duwamish tribe, the Duwamish River Cleanup Coalition, Alki Kayak Tours. I feel like this is really the Duwamish Alive event. This is really coalescing all of the work that has been happening. And I think it's a metaphor, a physical metaphor that you just completed to just show that it's possible to do something that is unbelievable and arrive here today. Um, so I've prepared some nice things to say. So uh, King County and the Green Duwamish watershed specifically represents the essence of the scenic beauty, the resilience and the prosperity of our region. Through my work as a consultant and a community organizer, I've been integrating collaborative whole system approaches to improve urban livability and resilience specifically related to green stormwater infrastructure. Dense urbanized areas were built in the past to hold a hard line between the natural and the functional in order to get runoff quickly away from our homes and streets. But this practice has consequences that you see, that we see every day. Uh, Non-point sources of polluted runoff from our built environment hurts our communities, our wildlife, our human health. Over the past 10 years, I've worked collaboratively as a consultant to Im implement green infrastructure projects from South Park to East Ballard, with citizens and communities, governments and businesses, and there is much more to do, as Christy True said. Green infrastructure is a cost-effective and beautiful way towards the long-range goal of making the impacts of our built environment invisible, like a forest, to the greater Green Duwamish and bigger Sailor Sea environments. Towards increasing the prosperity in our, in our region, I'm also working with many partners to develop green infrastructure job training program for young adults called the Duwamish Infrastructure Restoration Training Corp, or the DIRT Corps. DIRT Corps will provide on-ramps to emerging careers in urban forestry, horticulture, design, engineering, and green infrastructure maintenance, which is the most important part that everyone forgets. We need to train an army of people who are ready to work in these expanding careers to keep our urban waters clean and our communities healthy and connected. Thank you very much, and thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Terry. Um, one other group of people I neglected to thank was Puget Sound Keeper Alliance, represented by Chris Wilkie, who did some swimming today. Chris is the fifth guest swimmer, the brave souls that were nutty enough to get in the water with me. Greg Whitaker from Alki Kayak Tours uh, provided important support through the, the marine area. And then the Blue Heron Canoe family who uh, graciously came along and provided a, a spiritual accompaniment that was really welcome. So thank you all for coming out. Thank you for appreciating the Duwamish River. and. Uh, See you as we work on the river.